Hi Graham, it's just Stuart here with your uh, lesson summary uh, from yesterday. <coughs> just a couple of things uh, to go over. Um, look at it from the uh, base on view first of all. What we're going to see is a much better move away from the ball, the head not dipping forward at all there. But what we we'll start to see happening at the top of the swing is the arms just start to collapse a little bit. So our lead arm, our left arm, is just getting a little bit too bent. The reason, as we talked about, the reason it was getting a little bit too bent is because the right arm is allowed to fold a little bit too much. What this does is on the way down, it forces the left arm to have to straighten. As a result, the right arm starts to straighten too soon, and we end up losing the uh, sort of wrist angle between the left arm and the shaft too early on. So as a result, the, the speed that we can create um, is, is kind of limited and the contact is also going to be compromised a little bit there when we, when we release it early. Uh, looking at it from the other view, um, again, takeaway is much better. Just gets a little bit long, right arm gets a little bit too far out of position and that then caused you to come down just a little bit too steep and you can see the body isn't really rotating there as it, as it should do. So what we did, we attached this little training aid to your right arm and we got you to try and feel as you go back that your right arm wasn't going to fold as much. You can see at the top of your swing here, much more width, much more structure to the top of the back swing. You can see the club's in a much shorter position as well, so the arms and body are a lot more in sync together as we then start down there's no requirement then for that left arm to uh, to have to, to straighten you can see here coming down there's, there's more angle between the left arm and the shaft at that point in the swing uh, which is going to help you a hit the ball a little bit further but also the most important thing is, is Create a consistent contact on the ball. You can see here on the left, if you've already hit the ball, you've already released it. On the right, you're storing that release for longer so the hands get more forward at impact. Much better uh, synchronization between arms and body. Um, when we showed you this from the other angle as well, again, we saw. The, the right arm in a much better position at the top and consequently the club coming down on a better plane. So that's the key. I mean even when we took the um we took it off we were still able to recreate that same feeling. The one thing we said to watch out for was just to make sure that you don't you know not set the wrist properly so we're just getting a little bit too wide there um, when that left arm is parallel. Ideally, I'd want to see the, the wrist and the shaft uh, form more of a 90 degree angle. Um, but you know, it's okay at the moment, just be, keep an eye on it. But again, we can see the length of the swing is better, arms and body are more synced up, and uh, that's going to really help you with your timing and help your consistency. Um, all in all, uh, great job as we, as we talked about yesterday. Look back at your first video and have a look at the um, have a look at the swings that you're making first time out and three lessons you've done really well. So um, just keep working on it and um, I'll look forward to seeing how you get on next time.